I met Coach McClarty when he came to Clark uh, as a freshman. We were both students at the same time. I may have been a sophomore, but we took several courses together. And I actually met him in class. I think it was French that we took. Every day in class, he had a new joke to tell me. So at the end, by the end of the semester, I knew a lot of good jokes. I met him as a student athlete. I was able to come in contact with Coach Mack as, as a player who participated on Clark's football team. Since I was an official in the SIEC conference, I used to call these, drop these flags on Coach Mack because he was a rough and tumble football player. After we graduated, we came back uh, as members of the faculty and staff. He was director of Pfeiffer Hall. If you went to uh, Pfeiffer Hall, you would think that he was still in the Army because he had the, uh, he had the guys lined up as if they, he was his sergeant and they were reporting to him. I worked in the biology department. He became a full-fledged assistant to Coach Epps in, uh, in football. We didn't have a recruiting budget here. And I can tell you some stories about how Coach Mack was able to recruit kids. He was in Murphy High School recruiting all of my teammates, all of my friends who I had grown up with from elementary school. I got to missing my friends so much that I used to come over to Clark every day and Coach Mack told me, say, well, you're over here every day, why don't you enroll? So uh, in 1971, I enrolled in Clark as a freshman football player. Over the years that Coach McClarty was here, he was the chief, cook, bottle washer, bus driver, you name it. Coach Mack did it all, and he did it without a budget. We would take students on, uh, on trips to science meeting, and Coach uh, Mack was the person who drove the bus. Now, if you didn't believe that uh, scientists were Christians, uh, you should have been with us on that bus because the, going around some of those hills, that bus was slipping and sliding, and all of us prayed. He gave a portion of himself to other people every day. He was always available. He, he was accessible, always answered the phone. He always got up in the middle of the night to go see about something. I gotta go, they didn't lock the building up over at Clark. He had, we'd get up and get in the car and come over here and lock, check the gym out, and lock the doors. So many people depended on him. So he had many, many duties at this institution that his work ethics was way beyond the call of duty. Coach McClarty sent 19 players that he coached over the years into the professional ranks. Back when it was a time where the NFL were only taking kids from large schools, Coach Mack developed players that ultimately came NFL players through the American Football League. You can tell by the people that came across Coach Mack's path that all of his athletes, the majority of them, became very successful in life. I can say um, many of them became teachers, coaches, CIA personnel, Secret Service personnel. Just name it, Coach Mack developed and instilled in us a level of commitment to life and service in our community that we, he made men out of boys, out of all of us. And I thank Coach Mack for that. For these reasons, I am so happy that Clark Atlanta University is recognizing Coach McClarty for his long years of dedicated service to this university, this community, and this city. I believe you can't talk about Clark College or Clark Atlanta University without my father being somewhere in the mix of it. When you say Clark, Clark Atlanta, Clark College, I truly believe that the McClarty name, Jesse McClarty, Coach Mack, he's a part of that history. I truly believe that Clark is a better place because of it.